Welcome back to Chimicho Gaming. We are playing Portal 2. Ah, they make it only a one-way one way door so you get trapped. I mean, obviously that's for the game, but I'm sure because of the testing facility they didn't want people leaving either. See what's in here. Actually, is this where I'm supposed to be going? Welcome, gentlemen, to Amateur Science. Astronauts, four heroes. Is where I'm supposed to be going. Because we want the best. And you are yeah, there's nowhere else. Who is ready to make some science? I am. <laughs> now, you already met one another on the limo ride over, so let me introduce myself. I'm Cave Johnson. Cave Johnson. That eager voice you heard is the lovely Carolyn, my assistant. Rest assured, she has transferred your honorarium to the charitable organization of your choice. Isn't that right, Carolyn? Yes, sir, Mr. Johnson. She's the backbone of this facility. Pretty as a postcard, too. Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. <laughs> Sorry, fellas. She's married. To science. Alright, I gotta get up there. If I remember correctly. Yep. I have to go through the aperture science thing, but I have to fall somewhere. Somewhere so that I can Aha. All right. Should be able to make it all the way over there. No? Hmm. Okay, well. This is where I'm supposed to be going. It's just a matter of... Oh, right. I just walk over here. And... Whoop! Okay. There's a thousand tests performed every day here in our rich spheres. I can't personally oversee every one of them, so these pre-recorded messages will cover any questions you might have and respond to any incidents that may occur in the course of your science adventure. <laughs> your test assignment will vary depending on the manner in which you have bent the world to your will. Those of you helping us test the repulsion gel today, just follow the blue line on the floor. Those of you who volunteered to be injected with praying mantis DNA, I've got some good news and some bad news. <laughs> bad news is we're postponing those tests indefinitely. Good news is we've got a much better test for you. Fighting an army of mantis men. Pick up a rifle and follow the yellow line. You'll know when the test starts. <laughs> an army of mantis men. <laughs> I'm Cave Johnson and I approve this message. This guy's got some funny quips, too. None evil, though. He was never a bad man. He was just misguided. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is... If you need to go to the bathroom after this next series of tests, oh, right. please let a test associate know. Because buttons. in all likelihood, whatever comes out of you is going to be cold. Only temporary, so <laughs> do not worry. If it persists for a week, though, start worrying and come see us because that's not supposed to happen. If you've cut yourself at all in the course of these tests, you might have noticed that your blood is pure, pure gasoline. gasoline. That's normal. We've been shooting you with an invisible laser that's supposed to turn blood into gasoline. So all that means is it's working. <laughs> oh, this is one. Just a heads up, we're going to have a superconductor turned up full blast and pointed at you for the duration of this next test. I'll be honest, we're throwing science at the wall here to see what sticks. No idea what it'll do. Probably nothing. Best case scenario, you might get some superpowers. Worst case, some tumors, which we'll cut out. <coughs> Worst case is some tumors. Eh, we'll cut those out. Alright. So. 
That was the obvious route. The non-obvious route... is... This way. Yeah! Okay. Um... Now I need something to launch off of. Or launch up to. Oh, right there. Okay. Bam! Yeah! Alright. Through the door. Pump station alpha. So this blue goop is a lot of fun, adds another element to uh, what we're going to be doing for puzzles. Uh, hmm. Okay. Follow the gel flow, right? They say yeah, great science is built on the shoulders of giants. Not here. At Aperture, we do all our science from scratch. No hand holding. Seems legit. And again, I turned around in the elevator. <clears throat> All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Um... Oh, right. Should bounce higher. Oh, there we go. Button. Exit. Okay. We need... We need a block. Let me open the block. Probably over here. Button. There we go. Button. Yeah. There we go. We bounce. Bounce. Then we push the button, and we go over to the next side. The lab boys just informed me that I should not have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here, I can talk about the control group all damn day. Okay, so... Got this. This way? This way. For this next test, we put yeah. nanoparticles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. Now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. Okay. Um... No! Oh. Well, by the time I get back over there. Perfect. All right. <coughs> Got the cube. Back over to the button. Uh, 
Uh, does that work? All right. Boing. Oh, this is funny. And get the thing and bounce. you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely <laughs> nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you this, it's a lively one, and it does not like the human skeleton. <laughs> We're just throwing science to the wall and seeing what sticks. All, right. All these science spheres are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. <laughs> uh, exit is up there. So... Oh, 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 oh. Yep, I remember. I remember. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Oh, well, we got it on us. Not a big deal. All right, so the exit is over there. Gotta get up there. I love covering this, like, everywhere and stuff. It takes so long to do this right now, though. There we go. Alright, we're up here. We're up here. And now we do this. And now we do this. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. There's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself <laughs> thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. So why would you tell people? <laughs> Oh, Cave Johnson. <clears throat> now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Um. 
Alright. Is that not close enough? It's not close enough. What do we do here? Button. Button. There we go. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice, if you meet yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time. Entirely. Forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a Oops. favor and just let Oops. that handsome devil go about his business. Oh, right, 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 right. So we do this. Cover these in this. I think. Right? Yes, and no. Darn it. Nope, that didn't work. Hmm. There we go. This works. Where? What? 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 Oh, I was upside down or something. I don't. I don't remember. It's so disorienting sometimes. what I'm supposed to be doing. Going over here, right? So, I'm supposed to... Yeah, okay. This is right. Nope, that's not right. That is not right at all. Okay. Um... That is what I'm supposed to do, but, oh, there we go. Okay, that's not what I'm supposed to do. I thought that's what I was supposed to do. Maybe I didn't do it right? Because that's definitely how I was supposed to get over there. That hits that. What does this do? 
Anything? Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Haha, -ha, I was right. Alright, so we got this. Go up, 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 and up. If you're hearing this, it means you're taking a long time on the catwalks between tests. The lab boys say that might be a fear reaction. I'm no psychiatrist, but coming from a bunch of eggheads who wouldn't recognize the thrill of danger if it walked up and snapped their little pink <laughs> bras, that sounds like projection. They didn't fly into space, storm a beach, or bring back the gold. No, sir, we did. It's you and me against the world, son. I like your grit. Hustle could use some work, though. Now let's solve this thing. <laughs> All right, come back, come back, come back, come back, no, come back! Now we gotta wash it off, so it doesn't actually uh, do the thing. Come on, there we go. Can't have it bouncing around on the button. All right. Uh, uh, hmm. Oh, right there. Science Perfect. Is about why? It's about why not? Why is so much of our science dangerous? Why not Mary save science if you love it so much? In fact, why not invent a special safety door that won't get you on the butt on the way out because you are quiet? <coughs> now you test subject, you're doing fine. Yes, you. Box your stuff. Out the front door. Parking lot. Car. Goodbye. <laughs> Alright, well, that's where we're going to leave it off for today. Uh, thank you for watching. If you're enjoying this, please feel free to come back. Some Something broke. Um, feel free to come back and watch more next time on Jimmy Joe Gaming, and we will see you in the next one. Bye!